Members of the Hoboken Fire Department showed up last night at the Hoboken City Council to show their support for the Hoboken Fire Officers, Local 1076, who have been without a contract for nearly five years. Hoboken Fire Officers Local 1076 President Bernard Grilletti and Executive Board Member Joe Grasso spoke before the City Council about the status of contract negotiations with the City. On April 4, 2018, Local 1076 provided the Corporation Council a fair, reasonable proposal that's in line with other City bargaining units. Again, nothing provided to us for review. A counter-proposal was finally received approximately eight weeks after our proposal was provided. The many holes, serving info was unclear, and Corporation Counsel, Mr. Royer, had no answer for us regarding items within the proposal. Concessions by 1076 were clearly outlined no form of comp compensation was noted in the exchange for said concessions. Honestly, folks, the proposal was a slap in the face and a complete act of disrespect to a department that's been around for decades, considering our offer was in line with neighboring cities and other bargaining units within the city of Hoboken. To further our frustration, myself, Executive Board Member Grassi, now the business administrator and the mayor to voice our concern and disappointment in the city's position to negotiate in good faith. The outcome of that meeting resulted in zero progress. Again, we ask why. Why no progress? Why continued disrespect? Just to give uh, some statistics, we were offered in our proposal that we finally received from Corporation Council approximately six to eight weeks after we handed ours over. No longevity, vacation reduction, terminal leave givebacks, minimal increments from newly promotees, all while receiving a very minimal economic raise. These are all things when you compare to neighboring cities, some of them aren't even giving back anything. And if they are, it's one thing and then you meet halfway. This is completely decimating to our agreement and all the members back there, this is a slap in their face. It's gonna cripple the current guys on the job and women and for generations to come of firefighters for the city. Our whole organization thrives on a positive work environment where it's camaraderie and we work hard together and we have each other's backs. The morale in the fire department and the firehouses right now is kind of all over the place, mainly because contracts. The rank and file firefighters association, local 1078, received an agreement approximately a year ago, I believe it was December. They got minimal raises compared to the other two city workers unions and the two police unions. We just want to know what we did wrong along the way. And we know you guys don't have the answers, but we hope you could probe to investigate to find out what, what the issue is. In an on-camera interview, board member Joe Grasso said that the union is seeking a contract that is on par with other city fire officers' contracts, but still the city is not showing a willingness to resolve the contract dispute. We ultimately feel we just want to be on par with the other organizations within the city, as well as the neighboring municipalities. Uh, Chris Christie gutted our bargaining unit abilities over the last eight years. His effects are still being felt currently today and they will in the near future and possibly for a long time to come. Our ultimate goal is just to be fair and reasonable, which were actually Mayor Bala's words when he was actually mayor-elect Bala back in December. He, he just said, you know, fair and reasonable is perfectly fine. We've presented that to city council in front just this evening, as well as corporation council, the city's attorney and the business administrator. We thought we had some progress, but we just, we keep reaching uh, a dead end. We approached Mayor Baller uh, back in June, and we, you know, he was pretty much taken aback. He wasn't aware of anything. We shed, shed some light on the current situation, and we were hoping that would have been rectified. Uh, this is almost two months later, and, you know, we're still in between a rock and a hard place. Councilman Mike DeFusco offered up a resolution urging the administration to finalize contract negotiations with the fire officers, by which the whole city council voted in favor of. I felt it necessary to put on the record uh, this council's belief in the hardworking men and women of the fire department and to urge this administration to not make haste, to not 
look to get into arbitration after two meetings, rather to sit down with the very men and women that are protecting our streets 24-7 to see if there can be commonality in the contract. And I hope, Corporation Council, that you, as with all your legal experience, can arbitrate in a way and find a deal for the city that uh, is advantageous for us in our budget, um, as well as for the men and women that are, are, are working nonstop to protect us. So this resolution is fairly simple, to urge the administration, as well as to stand in solidarity with everybody that uh, works around the clock in the fire departments. Mark Booslinch reporting from Hoboken City Hall for Hudson County View the eye of the community.